question now is, how are they going to react to me? Is there anything behind the legend that they lure people to their deaths in the river? There's only one way to find out. These animals can attack in two ways, with dozens of sharp teeth or a headbutt that can take out a shark. And I've got no idea how many of them know that I'm here. These things, they seem to disappear from nowhere. I think I'm under surveillance by a group of six or seven predators. I'm very wary of the unpredictable nature of wild animals, especially ones that aren't afraid of me. You get this sense that they're definitely checking you out. They're checking me out, and I have to submit to it. But they're trying to see if I am, well, maybe food, but also they want to see if I'm a threat. And I think if they see me as a threat, that is bad news for me. There's no way I can swim away from them quicker than they can swim. There's no way I can resist them either. These are solid. They're big, they're solid. I get the feeling it's very much on their terms. And I'm very much out of place when I'm in their murky world. Their hyperflexible necks and rotating flippers enable them to pursue prey amongst the submerged tree trunks of the flooded forest. Their ability to communicate with each other lets them coordinate attacks on prey. And echolocation means they can home in on objects as small as a pin in murky water, even at night. They would have no problem negotiating a boat full of passengers as it sank beneath the surface. And I found a boatman named Baccaral, who has decades of experience on the river. They accompany the navios that are coming from the Alto Atlantic here, when the navio grande vem. Devido the people who come from the navio, they eat food. I asked him about bull sharks, and he said that there's a belief that they follow boats up the river. People are throwing food and bits and bobs off the back of the boat and they follow them up. But are they here in enough numbers for a mass attack? He says now it's, it's pretty well unheard of, you just don't see them. And even in the old days, they used to be very rare. A fish so scarce here couldn't be responsible for so much carnage. Another contender falls off my list. But all is not lost. He says there's another large predator in the river. These grow as big as the bull shark in the tackle shop, but are faster and more agile. And there's a lot of these lethal hunters out there. He says it's actually very common to see five or six of them together. On occasion, maybe as much as 20 or even more than that, huge backs breaking the surface. The alien-looking Amazon river dolphin, the boto. These top predators are here in large numbers and aggressively compete with fishermen on the river. Unlike its marine cousins, the boto is no fun-loving dolphin. Its reputation is a lot darker. Turns out people are actually wary of these animals. They are well known to knock their canoes and actually tip them out of the canoes into the water. They're said to be enchanted, but not in a good way. Some even say they can change into human form to lure people to their death in the river. Many people here refuse to get in the water when there are botos around. Often covered in battle scars, they've even been known to attack and kill bull sharks. But it doesn't stop there. I've been talking to some people around town and it turns out a few people have been hospitalized by botos by being rammed by them. There are all sorts of estimates for calculating the force a boto can deliver, but numbers don't have the same impact as a demonstration. To get an idea of it, it's something a bit like this. <laughs> B-52 
Being hit by a boto is like being in a car when it hits a brick wall at 30 miles an hour. So I'm left with the question, is the river's largest predatory mammal a serial killer? Piranhas may enjoy a reputation as evil killers, but here in the Amazon, they are far from the top of the food chain. This river is a supremely predatory environment. And I'm told that there are wild river monsters that come here to be fed by locals. These creatures are highly adapted killers and greatly feared by the piranhas. And once again, I'm the guinea pig that is entering the water to meet them. Dolphins. Who'd have thought it? Thousand miles from the ocean, right up the Amazon River. Freshwater dolphins. And these guys, I mean, they're having fun now, but my goodness, they've also got a dark side. That one got my thumb. That one got my thumb. Oh dear. Hey! And these are the guys that take out piranhas. A little bit eager, a little bit eager. The jaw, very, very long and elongated, full of teeth, just perfect for grabbing fish. Wow! They've also got this really strange bulging head, and that's actually an echolocation organ. A lot of these waters in the Amazon are very murky and they can't see their prey, but even in that situation, they can find and kill their prey oh! using sonar. You know, you've got to be very, very careful tangling with these creatures. Ah, time for me to get out, I think. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like the River Monsters page.